everybody. I'm here in the backyard and uh, the reason I'm here is because I'm here with this is a mango tree that my mother planted. I, well, she grew actually from seed. It's a beautiful plant. Uh, we are in the process of selling our home and I want to take some of these plants as a memento, a memory from my mother. And of course, I'm not gonna uproot the tree. I'm going to take part of it. So I went to the trusty, um, you recognize that. And so what I ordered from there are these pods and these are they're called reusable plant rooting devices so and what you do is you shave some of the bark if you call it, surrounding the where the part that you want to root and then this goes around it as you can see and then the roots the idea is that once you snap this into place the roots will grow in there and then you can cut at the bottom and then this becomes this whole thing becomes a new tree so I'm gonna do uh, a couple of branches I'm gonna do smaller ones and the bigger ones and I'll show you the process so that you can see that I'm gonna also do that to a lemon tree that my mom planted which is in the back behind this let me show you that one so this one is mom's lemon tree I'm gonna do the same thing on this. I'm gonna take a part of it and then uh, take some of that and then put, encase that and put some growing medium in there. And then I'm gonna cut uh, this part and that will become the new tree. So let's see how it works. Uh, uh, let me show you then how I'm going to prepare this and then how I'm putting this around it in just a moment. First thing I'm going to select, I'm going to, have to select a section in here and I'm going to go from, uh, this is where leaves used to be and then this is where other leaves used to be. So that's like expand uh, in there. I would say that's about three and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is then remove the bark in there in that segment. So for this, we're counting on the ability of the tree to heal itself. And when you have medium around that, what happens is that the tree is going to want to grow back around and that will develop into roots. And we, we do grow so, some herbs like basil and oregano and things like that, mint. But uh, we prepare the ground in different ways so uh, this is just a combination of different things and of course we've used composting material as well and that's what you see in there inside the the, the pot since, since I have prepared the mango already so what I'm doing here this has two ends one has uh, a place in here to grab and the other one here for the top and so I'm gonna put that there at the bottom and then I'm gonna put this one at the top and so I'm gonna go like this this thing snap on too much stuff in there 
So now I have installed this, I then push the snaps in one top one on the bottom. <clears throat> I'm not going now to stuff with medium that can grow and that it will stay wet. Uh, I'm gonna stuff it really good and show you guys how that looks. And then I'm just to make sure that everything is secure. Uh, this have some little holes here and I have this little zip ties if you can see uh, they're pretty small so just to make it more secure they tend not to stay shut and with the back and I'm gonna keep stuffing this will grow but she grew a wonderful tree from seed I feel that it is my responsibility to keep it and later on I might even of course this only grows in Florida and this areas in here and I would love, love for other family members to have a piece of this tree that my mom grew from seed since uh, she grew up in Honduras and we can't bring her trees from over there but we can definitely grow as much as we can from here it's nice to get your hands dirty and, this time and it's just a beautiful thing to know that you're part of creating new life and rooting a plant give me joy to see it grow for this one I'm gonna do the, this branch which is goes to the tallest part of the tree I'll put on the and here I'll put the pod so it'll look like this in just a moment all right so I prep this and hopefully I can get it in here without puncturing myself remember lemon trees are awesome but they also have very sharp needles So that's what it looks like in there when that's for the lemon tree and of course if you're doing it on a lemon just watch all those needles out but it's a beautiful thing to see and I think it's going to be part of a new tree. Hi. Right. Well just to recap what are you going to need to do this beautiful transplant and without having to cut it yet we're going to just grow in roots in the branch and what you need are going to need the pods uh, which I'll put a link in there in the video and I need a knife and you're gonna need uh, zip ties good old dirt from your garden all right I hope that that helps get yourself out there get your hands dirty and get your immune system way up so we can all get healthy cheers and good health to you Bye.